back here with the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where we just got our 132nd shrine, I do believe. We found it in a cave, past a bunch of horribles. We fought them, we killed them, we took their stuff, <laughs> we ate their stuff, and then we got a shrine. Sorry about it, Orleans. We had a whole bunch of other shrines set up sort of in the Death Mountain region here that we wanted to tackle, try and tackle as many of as we could here. And we got the Cherry Blossom recently, so if there are a bunch of them are in caves, we should be able to just go like, boom, 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 and like get a whole bunch of them here. And I just will mark now that we have an extra pin since we just got that one. Got that out here. So there are six pins out here, meaning for six shrines. So let's just see if we can, if we get all six in this one episode, that would be ridiculous. I do kind of want to just like put a bit of a hustle on, especially as last episode was very meandering and uh, chatty because I was feeling... Feeling sentimental and all. And we had just taken on a, a new, uh, our fourth main dungeon, so it was nice to sort of have a nice chill episode. And we learned some interesting stuff. You can reroll perks on weapons, which I never knew. And it may well have been a thing you could do in the previous game as well. I'm just gonna charge headlong towards um, our ne the next few shrines we have marked here. It is a shame you can't see the beams unless you're uh, scoping, which you cannot do. Oh, I lied. You can totally do it while skydiving. Oh, does it even stop time? What? That's so cool. It just stops time and you can scope. What? I, I was just about to say, oh, there's no way it'll let you do that, but it totally works. What? Never mind. That's so dope. That'll be very helpful. Of course, normally you wouldn't be, uh, you would just look at your mini map, but I have it turned off because I'm extra and I, <laughs> and I need to see the whole pretty world. Okay, so clearly that this one's like right beside a cave in here, and that seems pretty promising. This one, uh, the cave closest to it would be this one, I guess. And both are worth a try, I see. Let's rock on over there and give it a look. Man, I don't even know which one I like more, the depth skydiving theme or the surface skydiving theme. They're both lovely. Wow, those rocks are in the shape of a crab. That's cool and cute. Yep, still out of the right way. Man, I, I can't believe I didn't know that until now. That's really cool. I should have just tried it at some point, but I was like, there's no way they would be that smart to give that cool design choice a thing. It even stops time and everything. That's dope. Dude, there's just so many caves on this mountain. Holy crap. Look at it all. Remember when I was saying I bet we have like two thirds of the bubble frogs? I no longer bet that. <laughs> that seems like a really, really stupid bet. Well, maybe just for our, uh, the, our future self's sake. Even if we don't believe there to be a shrine in this crab one over here, we can just go get it marked. Yep, there's certainly one. Actually, that, that might be the one, the cave that leads to uh, this one over here. Or it could be that one over there. It's got, it's got to be in a cave, though. Or a big, huge hollow in the side of the gorge over there. Well, let's start with this one over here, just so we can get it logged, even if uh, our intent is uh, to save it for the EX playthrough. I love that how the music goes into this little... Right when you're getting close to the ground, and then you hit the ground. And the second you hit the ground, it goes... It's very, very good music design. That ah, hot! Isle of Rabak Gallery. Um, nice. Maybe we, maybe we don't. A near anagram of crab Rabak is, which I'm certain is intentional. Let's start with these ones over here. Maybe I, I'm, I'm looking at it now. I'm less convinced that uh, that one would leave it, lead us to that shrine there. But I could be wrong. I think, I think that cave is probably more likely. I don't know if these two are entrances to the same cave, uh, but we will soon find out, I suppose. Sorry if it's disheartening to anyone that I prefer to use the cherry blossoms to find the caves in this playthrough. There is something uh, to be said for the sense of discovery in finding a cave by yourself, but uh, in in the interest of time is, is basically the only reason I'm doing it this way. In we get. Oh, there's going to be a lot of hacking apart needs to come uh, going. You know, Boko something cave, uh, but hang on. You know, Boko HQ East cave. Gotcha. Uh, sorry, one and two. Whoop, oh, sorry, so two. Uh, this can get you on the floor. Funny that, um, my arrow caught fire, and so I shot them, and they got fire, but they're in the same place that made the arrow catch fire, so I don't really understand how that works exactly, but it would be foolish to question it, so let's just poke them with our spear that will catch fire, and just keep, uh, putting it away to douse it of fire. <laughs> I think that keeps its durability intact. I'm not sure if that works that way, but it might. We just keep dousing it like that to put the fire away. Okay, good. <laughs> Seems to work fine enough. Shrine is said to be behind this wall. I say we waste no time with it. Let's get in there and, uh, well, let's use the Master Sword first before we use any bombs. Master Sword's got a big old rock on it. One way here. Oh, yep, sure enough, it's right over there. I won't even fuss about getting the Bubble Frogs now as it, as it stands, because you know what? We're not going to probably need them uh, too much for the rest of this playthrough. I can't imagine there's too much more gear. We really like. I don't, I'm not really desperate to get the last bit of the Rupees set before we beat the game. I'm happy to get that later on in the 100% uh, playthrough. While we're getting all the other 
Bubble Gem Rewards. Oh, I should have known that putting this out here was a very, very bad idea. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, you know what? Who could be helpful for this? Well, you know about us not care about- Oh, about the fire. Good. Um, it'll be you. Hang on, where's the front of it? Oh, it's around this other side, is it? Oops, I'm in inside of things. All right, you know, I wonder, actually, this is not a bad time to find out. Does it hurt me if I'm standing too close when he does this? Yeah! Not at all. Wicked. There we go. That'll do. Thanks, you know about Easy Seam Shrine. Reward, you think? Nope, it's a naked and afraid and alone one. Hells yeah. Peru grounds in reverse. Oh, so we want they want us to do something with uh, uh, recall here. But what exactly? This I do not understand. Well, there are gears and stuff. That's one thing. I already caught the attention of someone by being loud and obnoxious. Sorry. Wait, hang on. No, I'm so sorry. Don't see things. Hang on. Let's just pretend at least for a moment we have the, the faintest guise of wanting a stealthy approach here. I'm not sure there's a really easy way to... Uh, maybe there is. You just... Ah, no, I got sorry. I thought maybe if I ducked in there fast enough, they wouldn't see, but too late. All right, it's a head-to-head -head fight you want. Head-to-head -head fight you'll get. Who's launching arrows, and can I have one? They're throwing everything. They're not just arrows. Oh, they're throwing bombs. Wait, hang on. Oh, God. I'm just... Wait, is there something in, in behind there? No, I, never mind. This is not the time to find out. So, how many bombs do you have? Stop throwing... Oh, in reverse. Sorry. Only just click me for me how that could be applicable to this whole situation. Aha! Take it back! And a bomb for you! Whoa! Okay, we don't need to be doing all this, do we? Okay, let's see if I can get Flurry will probably be necessary here if I'm fighting multiple at once here. Come on, you. Hey, you! Okay, a horn I can Flurry if I did it less stupidly. Ah! I'm bad at timing them with their, um. Uh, their, their, their two handers. Because they always seem to hesitate a bit more than I'm expecting. Okay, I blew up the one on the top uh, shelf there. I'm wonking you bunch, a whole uh, bunch. Spin strike there. I'll grab your sword there. No sword for you. Sword. Ooh, we've lost our sword privileges. Thought I had my shield out more than I actually did there. What? Okay, um, go away with you. Only other weapon here is I've got is the two-hander sword here. But let's make a nice, big, chunky two-hander here. With the horn. It's got some decent range on it as well. Oh, so nasty-looking sword it is. Oh, that was almost all the the whole construct health. So the ones that are left don't uh, are pretty low tier, is what that tells me. And this one is very dead. <laughs> Great, so, but we've got some arrows here, so I could uh, like strike this one from afar, say. If I did a bit of that, and maybe better. Yeah. Okay, that's that's uh, maybe that one's the only one left. It's got a really big health bar. Shooting stuff at me. So you can play that game. Oh, here's one as well. Yeah. I've actually got tons of arrows now, so it might be uh, worth just trying to finish you off with archery. Just sticking everything to the arrows as we do. Going for headshots where possible. Actually, what I should really do is wait for it to get up and come to the ledge here. Then I should go for an arrow time. Uh, it doesn't seem like it wants to come up to the edge, does it? Okay, fine. I'll do it like this. Yeah. Pew! 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 Pew. I don't think I won't do it again, because I got news for you. I will! Pew! Pew! Yay! <laughs> Alright, I have to hit the ground before. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Now can we do a... Do -do 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 -do. Thank you. You know, I really like these ones, and I, I think what, what the, part of the reason I, I, I enjoy these Proving Ground ones... Perhaps among the most of all the uh, shrines we have, and it, it's important that to know here that um, they're combat-oriented ones, but they're unlike the Breath of the Wild one because the Breath of the Wild one is just the same robot at four tiers that you fight over and over again, basically. And it's like, but this time there's a rock pillar, or there isn't, and it's it's not really nearly as interesting. Whereas these ones, there are a few things that make these ones better. First of all, magic rods. I'm sorry. Uh, better for me, anyway. There are a few things that make it I, so that I prefer these uh, these combat trials to the combat trials in Breath of the Wild. Multi-faction combat is always more interesting in this game because it's difficult. I also prefer that the, the there's, it's a varied landscape, so it's not just a matter of uh, learning the combat timings, but also how to use your environments to your surroundings. Obviously, they set up all kinds of traps for you to use if you care to use them. But I think the, the main thing that this has those, over those Breath of the Wild ones is that um, the addition of Fuse in this game makes everything you pick up have some worth because it doesn't mean you just pick up the weapon with the highest number and then start swinging and you can and and that's the best strat because there's also something to be said for fusing weapons together every little bit they drop maybe you can fuse this and then like uh, you, if you throw the weapon with it on it, it has something useful it also um because you don't have many weapons it it 
adds emphasis to the being fusing of nearby items like these and like the what's that over there barrels like those could all have some use if you fuse them maybe to your shield or whatever so that sort of foraging light survival almost you might call it element to it i think makes it a lot more engaging and it's it's almost a bit of a shame that they're so short i kind of would like uh it would be cool if there was like a dungeon somewhere kind of like the 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 master sword trials in breath of the wild where you like go through multiple floors and you have to be keeping your supplies from floor to floor and they're sort of being sparse with them I think that would force you to engage with the Fuse uh, system in a very meaningful way, and it would be really exciting. Uh, but they said there's going to be no DLC, so I guess there, there's no hope of getting one of those. Rel compared to Breath of the Wild, I think I would enjoy... Like, if that same Master Sword trial was in this game with the Fuse and all the, and the uh, Ultra Hand and all the abilities you have here, I think I would have enjoyed it more, perhaps. Not that I didn't enjoy it, although I did. It was rather trying doing it with three hearts well it was actually it wasn't the three hearts that was the problem it was master mode making the enemies respawn so the limited weapons really did a number on me anyway we're not playing breath of the Wild. we're playing this one so let's keep playing this one and focus on playing it look at the huge array of armor we have now though holy crap actually um this gallery one is really close to where this shrine is supposed to be over here so i'll try i'll check it first it's pretty hot down here however it's going oh man we have to do minecart rides i'm not exactly looking forward to it but if i have to that's roughly the way you'd want it um uh, go thing go yep it's not really on the rails as much as one might want i see how that could be a problem you're right game let me on okay Oof, it sort of takes off fast once you start getting it going oh and he uh rides along with you when you do this as well which is neat take that <laughs> Nice, and it got all our resources in that. Whoa, okay, yeah, this really takes you a whole wacky way, doesn't it? I bet there's a bubble frog hiding in behind a, one of these lava falls in a cave somewhere. But, um, I mean, a cave within the cave. But, uh, maybe we just focus on getting the shrine first, which I imagine is going to be around this corner here. Oh, if I hit the switcher, what does that do for us? I didn't hit it really fast enough. Um, where, where is the shrine again? Oh, way over. Wait, what direction is that? That's, uh, like this way. Okay, so maybe we don't even, we wouldn't even necessarily want it to ride that way. Or did we? No, I guess we do, because it's just going to keep looping us around. We did actually hit the switch switcher a moment ago, did we? So I guess we're good here now. Maybe you could just, like, throw a rock at it to make it do that as well, but using, you know, before it was fun. Um, is this... Oh, this could be bringing us towards the shrine, I suppose. This could be... This looks like... Oh, boy. This is a really, really big underground cave. That whole thing I was saying in, um... Uh, when we were doing the... Oh, there are goblins on my cards! Um, when we're doing the, the dungeon that we're, they're gonna have to be using these to do the switchers. Oh, uh, this is what I was expecting that whole dungeon was, and maybe it was like this, and I just was just missing it. It's nice that he has a little fire effect coming off him, so... It's, uh, it's, he hits a lot, a wide area around him. Oops, sorry! Uh, did I already hit this one? No, I mustn't have, because we want to be heading over... Wait, was, uh, did I... Oh, uh, this is leading me to the middle, hey, well, I... This isn't exactly where I wanted to be, I'm gonna be honest. But um, while we're here, let's keep mashing B to d dose my uh, spear here of uh, it's on fireness. Uh, stop being on fire, okay, good. Uh, stop being on fire, okay, good. Uh, stop being on fire, now stab! All right, now stop being on fire. <laughs> I guess this actually works to keep it, its fire timer reduced. It doesn't make any sense at all, but <laughs> it's really cool. I can just shake it, nah, shake it, just shake that fire out of it. Nah, nah, just shake that out. That's dope. <laughs> Right, well, I wasn't trying to be here, but there's a chest, so let's see what they have anyway. Yep. And we've got a bunch of extra loot now for crafting later on and or selling. Ruby, sweet. Ooh, it's got a cooking pot here. Let's see. I'll, I'll see about making some stuff up. Let us uh, have some Goron spiced meat, shall we? Just a whole bunch of steaks we've got here from st stolen from Horriblins and whatnot, so... Throw those in the pan with some spiced meat. Oh, spiced meat skewer! Looks yummy. Glazed mushrooms are a thing, I think? Let's do one mushroom with some honey on it. <clears throat> I saw I was seeing someone else play... Uh, Someone else's gameplay of Breath of the Wild earlier, and I saw glazed mushrooms, and I was like, that's a thing? We're filling out our logbook nice and good. Actually, they're probably glazed vegetables and all kinds of stuff you can do that is glazed. Right, so this area section of the book is clearly like the cheese section, because you got the melty cheese bread, the pizza, and then cheesy baked fish. But I swear we tried cheese and meat earlier, right? And didn't really do anything? Let's try cheese and some other stuff. Cheese and, um, cheese and... <laughs> cheese and gourmet meat. I don't know why it doesn't do cheesy meat skewer when there's cheesy fish skewer. Che cheesy roast veggies. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's make a stuffed pumpkin. Yum. Oh, can you do rice and pumpkin? Like a stuffed rice pumpkin? Oh, veggie rice. I made pumpkin rice balls. That probably would be pretty good, actually. Let's make up a single hearty truffle here. 
One of those. Made escargot yet? Or does Sneaky River Snail just make you like seafood skewer? It does, I see. I know I said seafood. <laughs> Perhaps some elixirs. Hightail lizard, let's do four of you and then one big old something. Uh, luck like stone. Ooh, sweet. I might even just eat that now. Get that sass effect on us. So I don't save it around for a time and never use it. Whole bunch of ancient arowana here. Also, I bet if I just left it on the ground, it would make like a roasted arowana. And that's probably something we don't have in the book. It's a huge fish though, holy cow. Mine. Do we have roasted glowing cave fish? Yes, we do. We got porgy trout and bass as well. Uh, a special goron spice covers up the scent of the meat, allowing its flavor to shine. Interesting. So we have seared steak, prime steak, and gourmet steak, so we don't actually need to roast any of those up. Surely for logbook's sake. Oh, the hardy salmon. We don't have much of the salmon, but um, let's put a carp and uh, salmon on the ground and let them just roast together because uh, we don't have those in the book. Even though it's a bit of a waste of the harmony salmon. It'll give us some nice little uh, healing remedies anyway for the next few fights and all. More of the, the logbook progress is what I'm in, into, but uh, things can be worth more than one thing. We have a bunch of mushrooms to roast up as well that we haven't done. So between cave fish and hardy salmon, maybe it's the hardy bass. Because that's a bit bigger than the normal bass. Maybe I'll do that and a few of the nuts up as well. Just to get a bunch of logbook progress. Sorry, I just totally turned into a much longer thing than I was thinking of. But now that this we're here, I'm just like, cooking progress. Roasted tree nut, roasted acorn, we already had, and roasted hearty bass. There we go. That was the one in between these two. Let's see if baked golden apple is anything different. Baked tomato, is that anything? <laughs> roasted tomatoes are a thing. Nice. I know they are in uh, Don't Starve, <laughs> and they're pretty good in that. Baked golden apple oh, is a different thing. And roasted wild bear was one we didn't have. Can I guess the flute lotus seeds? Oh, no, they might. I'm not sure. Uh, as for the fire fruit and stuff, we'll see about them. Ro I don't know what a roast ice fruit would be like. <laughs> Probably pretty weird. Roasted Mighty Bananas, uh... Oh boy, oh, they just explode when you do that. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> roasted the Lotus Seeds and, uh... Roasted Hydromelon. Nice. Really filling out our roasted section here. Bomb Flower seems like a bad idea. Ah, man, wait, do I have Big Hearted Truffle Roasted in the book? Probably gonna have to waste that one on that as well. If I want this log with progress, and I do. I desperately, desperately do. Just eat one of those tree nuts now. To round out my health. I need both these mushrooms to cook, uh, as well as a mushroom and one of these and one of these, I think. I think I don't have any of these in the book, roasted. So that they more or less cook at about the same time. So you can just mash A on all of them. Mushroom. Already truffle. Please don't say I'm full. Oh, bugger. Uh, acorn. My hearts are full. I understand that. Mushroom. I understand that. Um, let's get rid of the smaller ones first. Big hearty truffle. Bright cap and stamella, I guess I already had. No, I just picked, tried to pick that one up. That's why we had it in the book there. Okay, good. They're calling the mushrooms toasted, not roasted. All right, so clearly we're missing the uh, zap shroom and the chill shroom here, but there are a bunch more in between these two. Oh, these ones over here. Right. Just eating a bunch of roasted fruits today. We're having a good old time is what we're doing. <laughs> not trying to make room for all this junk at all. I guess I don't actually need to make room for it uh, to get it logged in the recipe book, but just so I don't accidentally like keep picking up one of them over and over and not the other ones. Uh, zap shroom. Razor shroom. Iron Shroom. I already have the Sky Shroom, but Toasty Chill Shroom. All right, so that's this little section filled out. Still missing the one in between these two. We'll find it at some point. Oh man, I have to waste the big hearty radish on this. Uh, and we'll find out if Endura Carrots do that. And Pumpkins and Carrot and Stand Bulb. Mmm, yummy roast mushrooms. Oh, some of them just exploded. I wasn't paying attention to which ones, uh, but that's good. Uh, oh no, it was just the only one of them exploded, was it? I guess that will open the stand bulb. So with care and do care, four or five pumpkin, big radish, good. Let's round it out this middle section a bit here. There's still a fair number we're missing. I'm guessing anything leafy like the Saflina, the Silent Princess, and all this, they burn pretty immediately. Armoranth? I feel like I already tried this, but why do I think that they can be roasted? It's because they've got a bulkier shape to them, so it, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't just burn up. Oh yeah, it wouldn't. The heat has frayed the hard, chewy fiber just enough to make it easy to eat. Yum. But I doubt I'll have the same luck with these other flowers. I'll try a Sunderline anyway. Of all of them, that one seems sort of the bulkiest, like it would have the best chance of making it through a fire. Because it's sort of like a sunflower almost. Nope. <laughs> uh, I imagine you can't just burn the honey, right? But let's try. Like maybe it makes like roasted honey inside the nest. It does not. The rice, probably not. Uh, you can make a campfire egg. If you just roast an egg, and I don't think we've done that in this game. Is there a different thing you get if you put it in a hot spring? It becomes like a hot spring egg, and that's it. Oh, pick it up! And that's a different thing? I think it might be. Oh, let's just try a puff shroom. I don't think... They say it's inedible, but maybe. Maybe when maybe when roasted, it becomes slightly... Less. Oh, it doesn't even catch fire. That's unusual. Anything else that sticks out to me as something we want to throw on the ground and roast? I think that's probably about it. Dark clump, why not? Can that be eaten when roasted? 
does not catch fire. That is not a good sign for its edibility. Well, I'm satisfied. Back to actually adventuring and stuff. I do not have this on the rails correct in the slightest. No, let me on. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't remember what we were doing here. That was been so, I spent so long cooking there. Oh, there's shrines over there. Let's just get off and go do that. Master is back, so I can make another uh, rock smashy with it. Oh right, but of course, uh, you know it was good for that as well. If we are without one of those in the future, that little hasty bump is uh, helping out here. Geotalk shrine, mine. A gallery. This place they, they called this place. Another blessing. Here we are. Magic staff. Boop. Here we go. Right, uh, can we send up through here? Is it close enough? Ooh, not we'll cut around here, but maybe we get close to the edge a bit. Not sure. Oh, got all this stuff around here though. So we'll grab this stuff and then we'll send on up out of here and we should be able to get one or two more shrines in this very episode even still. Uh, Cause we probably won't be stopping for any huge culinary adventures. Any other ones that the way we did here. Well, I might've spent so much time down here that uh, the cherry blossoms run out. I'm not sure. At least I ate so much that this is all back to normal. And since we have such a high max health, uh, it goes pretty far now. Uh, where's our nearest pin? It would be one of the ones over on the east side here. Is that really? Oh, wow. Look at all the shrines we got on this side. Go us. Oh, that's cool. The... Oh, wow, there's something interesting going on there in the depths of Darunia Lake, but, uh, the, the... The temple, fire temple, is right beneath that. And also the cherry blossom. Right, so let's port over to the eastern sort of side of the uh, mountain here, because clearly that's where all the rest of these shrines are, and some of them are getting more into the sort of, the sort of Elden Akala border region, so they're going to be a little less in the mountains, and therefore, I suspect, easier to find. So we've shown up on the west side of the mountain here, that's where this teleport brings you up, but we can, uh, that means we can put a glide on around here and be on the other side in no time. Uh, are the lights still around? No, they all expired. I spent too long cooking. Uh, maybe I should go back and do that first. Sure enough, here's Zerunia Lake, with its big old crater in the middle, and I guess some Korok stuff going on in the middle there. Based on all the rocks. Completely didn't notice this the first time we were over here. Put a leaf there. Thank you! Oh yeah, I suppose they were up near the horse section of the logbook in the previous game. This is where he was, but it doesn't seem like they're out and about in the playable parts of this game. Only in cutscenes, as far as I can tell, so... I don't know if that'll be the same here. Anyway, uh, let's get on over there to the side of things. Ah, uh, there's where the Akala Tower used to be. I love that place. That's where we, we had fought a gloom hand there, didn't we? I think so. So right around over this bend here, we should see a cave somewhere around here, at least I hope so. Is that a stable we have? Looks like maybe not. Oh yeah, there's a shrine here, let me just, uh, let me just, every time I, we, we uh, cross the shrine off, we'll put it under pin on another one that we have in the depths somewhere that we don't have up top. Like, oops. Like here. So we can actually uh, be making some very serious progress on them as much as fast as possible. I missed the one that was up here, sorry. We're going to do this one now though. Um, okay, so I'm not seeing any caves very quickly here, and but the one the shrine we're looking for is over on that side of the, the ridge. So let's uh, fly in over there and see what our tracker tells us. It may still tell us that it's below, but we've seen obviously that um, some of the caves can go pretty far away and away um, on this mountain here, so. Oh, never mind. It's a crystal one. Oh, and here's a cave. <laughs> and there's Dinral. Mama Six Shrine! Why is Momo sick? I wish Momo a speedy recovery. The Death Caldera Crystal? Whoa, whoa, wait, what? The what crystal? Uh-huh. The who? Oh no, that's just what this place is called, I see. I don't know the definition of a caldera. A large depression formed when a volcano erupts and collapses. There you go. Ooh, it just occurred to me I could probably get uh, bonuses to all my bows if I feed them to those Octrox as well. That's something we want. Ah, thankfully it's not all on fire out here, so I don't, uh, I can use my bombs without too many regrets. <laughs> No pass. Sweet. It's probably about to get pretty hot in a minute, I imagine. Oh man, we're going to, have to bring a crystal out of here, are we? Ow! Oh, I've still got my hot, my, my warm pants on, or my hot fire resistant pants on. So there's that. Oh, it's on a fiery talus over there. Okay, that's the one we got in the book, right? Igneo talus. Yes. All right. So let's just climb around that, and we'll see about. Um, uh, maybe we just build a hovercraft and fly our way across rather than using the minecarts because I don't like doing that. Oh no, maybe we throw a bunch of splash fruit in the water and make a, a bridge. All right, let's see about taking this on uh, rather quickly. I'll just keep uh, dousing my uh, spear as we go on here. All right, uh, I'm, I, I do not have enough fire protection to not get hurt by this, but if I just keep whacking at you, this will be done before long, and then we'll be, I'll be fine. It's the way I see this. Don't fall. Okay, if you're going to fall over, do it all right. It's weird, actually. I'm not allowed to target this one because it's got a crystal on it instead of the normal little shebang. Okay, I'm going to do lots of pokes here, and it's going to start shaking to try and shake me off in a minute here. It's not doing it quickly. All right, well, uh... I guess you lose. <laughs> Win. Ah, no, I fell off at the really inopportune moment. It's fine. We have enough to just, uh, one more shot. We'll do it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Dealt with. 
It didn't seem like, um, oh, an Igneo Talus heart. Now, I wonder what that's uh, like, fuse-wise. Let's put that on the Master Sword and see. Because it's already got a rock on it, so it's more or less the same type of thing. Plus 27, pretty good. I kind of doubt it, but um, any chance if I just slam you into this, it'll send it flying? Yeah! Well, it does send it flying, but not really in a likable trajectory, because it's just putting it right in the lava. But there could be something to that if I get it close to the edge, maybe? And... Go, you know, go, go! Oh, you used it as floor. That's not what I was expecting, but... Interesting maneuver. Maybe if I can stand it up somewhere around here. Yeah, that's probably enough. Uh, that it, you won't you won't consider it floor. I can actually ram you into it. Yeah. It's not really the direction I intended it. I expected it going, but lava bridge it is. Wait, it just disappears if you bring it over the gap. That can't be right. They genuinely just force you to use the minecart. That's really weird. If so. Now I just want to know if that's how it works. Like, I'm actually not allowed to fly it over this way, or...? Oh, I am. So they just object to me bringing it too close to the lava. Like, if I tried to put this on one of those platforms now, if it gets anywhere near the lava, it just evaporates? Or no, now it isn't doing it. Wait, so what? That's that's so weird. Anyway, it's here now. Oh, there's a dead lizard here. At some point, I hit that, I guess. Grab one of these uh, rusty claymores to use as a rock smashy. Oh, probably the bomb was what took out that lizard. Oh, there's a rock hawk truck. Actually, let's see what happens if I uh, give it the rock hammer. While, uh, well, I think we already said that it's it's fine if things are fused to it while well, that happens, right? So let's see it unrust this and see what uh what it turns it into. Well, that was not really nearly close enough. Sorry. Uh, wait, hang on. Don't don't inhale it yet. Now, now take it. <laughs> that one wasn't fast enough, was it? Oh, sure it was. Oh, I should have a shield. What did they get all unrust it into? Ah, it's fine. I think that was probably fast enough. Once it does the shiny. A rock hammer made of a rusty claymore. Oh, it was not fast enough. Oh, so it doesn't unrust them in this game. Or maybe it only does that if you oh, I haven't fused it. Or maybe, again, I didn't wait long enough because I forgot to call off my crack sniper. Oh, there's another one here. Okay, Tulin, calm down. All right, it, um... No, I gave it a long throw, but... And maybe it's a thing that only happens if you haven't fused. But I guess it's already done it once, so it, it doesn't fall for it again. Oh, it fell behind it. Well, that's awkward. Uh, yeah! I'll throw a horn at you next time you inhale. Yeah, take that! Right in the face. <laughs> Give my sword back, you thief. So maybe it doesn't unrust them in this game. That's a, a thing that was only in the previous game. But maybe it may also be that I just had to do it while it wasn't fused. Just experimenting around, experimenting around. You see how it is. Sorry that these two episodes have been not as shrine-heavy as I had expected. For, but three three per shrine, which is what we got in this one, isn't... Sorry, three, per episode, three shrines in an episode isn't a horrible score, considering how few we have left to go. Ah, but you can have that back now. Uh, no, please, I implore you. <laughs> I insist. And this will, of course, be a reward, and that'll be the last shrine for this episode, so I may as well start doing my outro now, because we're just gonna walk in there and grab whatever treasure there is, ain't we? Thank you so very much for coming around to this one, another episode of Tears of the Kingdom. We've got a long throw rock smashy now, which is not something we want on a rock smashy at all. For any context, I don't think. Got a few more shrines to do in the Akala Elden region, and I've also started marking ones that are sort of outside that region. Especially that one down in that, um, the, the sort of peak... Krenel... No, not Krenel, uh, but whatever it was called, um... The, the one that's just sort of in front of Eventide Island, but like on the very southern eastern tip of the island. Of, the, of Hyrule, and there was that big, like, underground dock, but, like, we couldn't actually really get into it. I marked that one, and I'll go see about trying to do that in one next episode. Not before we do the other ones that we found in sort of this Akala uh, Elden region, but that is all for now. So, next video on the channel is going to be, ah, yes, way back around Christmas time, I recorded an episode of Lethal Company that I did uh, solo, which you're not really supposed to do. It's meant to be a multiplayer game, but it was fun, and I, I didn't really make much good progress, I wouldn't have said, but I wandered into the mysterious beyond of a bunch of foreign moons, and it was just, it was a, it was a very chill chilled out and kind of weird uh, recording session, but it was lots of fun. So that's the video that's going up next on the channel, and uh, next time on Tears of Kingdom here, we're going to be cleaning up the last few in this Elden region, heading down to the Elden Akal region, and then if we have time, hopefully down to the southeastern tip of the world as well. All in our adventures to get shrines. So thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. I'm going to be out of here now. Peace! Oh, it's a shame I can't charge while Donald's doing that. And of course he had to do ice, but at least he did cure as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I can't believe I cure all, all three of my cures away. It's fine. Two of them will come back still. Cut that out right now.